All right, we're here with AM Commerce head coach David Bailiff after signing day 2022. Lions signed 19 players to our first Division I signing class. What's your overall thoughts on the class? You know, I think we met a lot of our needs. Uh, you know, we graduated older offensive line. We took some, uh, a couple transfers in the offensive line. We're always though going to commit to the Texas high school players. You know, and the, the bulk of the transfers that we did take are Texas kids. Although one of our linemen, believe it or not, is from Massachusetts. But uh, I think, you know, when you, you watch those highlight videos we put out today, and you can see the true speed from the transfer from SMU and the transfer from Colorado uh, and just how fast this class is the, and the transfer from uh, Incarnate Word, the, the running back. I mean, they can just they can just run and you can see them out running leverage and you see, you know, how explosive of uh, these these young men are. The signing class, a few players less than what uh, AM Commerce fans are used to over the past few years with the transition up to uh, FCS and the Southland Conference. Explain a little bit of that and how targeted you had to be. Well, you know, the, really the tough part about this, we're still operating under Division II rules until July. So we missed that early signing date that we will get next year. And so now you're living in a world of we're, we're going up scholarship-wise, so you're offering a lot more full scholarships and not as many partial. And we lose the ability to stack a lot of the aid that we could in the past that, that gave us those big numbers. So, you know, you still want to carry a squad, 120, 130, uh, but you're looking more now at walk-ons instead of, you know, small scholarship amounts. Um, but uh, like I said, I, I, back to what I originally stated, we, we want to take some older quarterbacks, you know. Got a young man from Ohio State, you know, that threw for 6,000 yards uh, in high school. Got Franz Dinkelman, another young man that was actually committed to BYU at one point. Uh, they're big, tall kids that can really throw a football. Looking forward to watching them compete. Got the two transfers in the offensive line, the one from Maryland, one from Elon, that are you know big kids that have fit fit in and fill in immediately. Got a young freshman tight end that's uh, from Cisco that's every hit 32 points the other night in a basketball game. So you know the athleticism is so prevalent in this class. You just even you look at the D line, uh, a Dorian uh, at one point. You know, he was a highly recruited kid, uh, would would committed to a, a SEC school early, and then uh, and that they took that at the end. We were able to be right there, you know, to get him and uh, excited. Got a young man, another big defensive end, big defensive lineman from Magnolia. Uh, it's just been it's a fabulous class. It was a great morning. Uh, can't wait to get them here and, and start working them. So, and I can't wait for spring because we got enough transfers too that are going to have an impact on this season. You know, you don't want to go too heavy in transfers because there's also you want to develop these Texas high school kids. You know, that was one of the things that my former stopped. I thought we did so well in the offensive line was develop those young kids, take very tall uh, athletic tackles and see what we could grow them into. And I think that's what we've accomplished in this, this class. So I'm excited about it. All right, Coach. Well, we look forward to seeing how this class pans out. We look forward to seeing you on the field during spring practice coming up in a few weeks. We're excited. Come check us out.